Hi guys. Hi guys. Hi guys. <laughs> I'm about to open the box. Honestly, I have no idea what's in here. Everyone said customs and shit. But you guys know that I was a very special character there. So I have no idea what they could send me. So let's see how that goes. Uh, <laughs> I have no idea what I'm gonna do, what I'm gonna see there. It's right here. Actually, this um, this box is basically my size. Look how big it is. So, <laughs> um, let's see what it has. Any questions? You guys have been asking me a lot of questions. Um, a lot of questions online. Anything that you guys wanna know right now before we start doing this? No questions? Okay. All right. Um, I'm gonna open this and I'm gonna see what the fuck they send me. It's gonna be a lot of shit, is it? Probably something with Jadus. For sure, Jadus is gonna be here. Ooh. I wish I could say I'm excited. Not that. Oh yeah, everyone's asking me, why do you shave your head in the Big Brother house? You guys are a very special kind of gay. I literally don't take care of myself. I know I should. Like I don't, I'm not like Tyler, that he would spend like three hours in the mirror, like putting things on his hair, putting like creams. I'm not like that. I woke up in the morning, I put a sweatshirt, shorts, a hat, and I'm ready for my day. And I knew the Big Brother house was gonna be a mess because we don't have access to like, clippers or anything like that so I'm like there is no way like you know like I'm gonna be spending all this time like we heard stuff I'm just gonna be like whatever I'm not trying to look cute here for anyone I don't give a fuck um well I should have done that because look at Tyler now he has all these like 12 years old teenager fans that are loving him and I don't have that many lovers um so but no I'm, I'm gonna let my hair grow I'm gonna I'm gonna let it grow back and by December, I have my hair back on again. So anything for the fans. But I'm definitely not gonna put makeup. Even Tyler tried to convince me to put makeup. I am not gonna put makeup. I'm not gonna be one of those gays. I mean, I love them all, but I just it's just not me. Any other question? Okay, I said why I shaved my head. Anything else that you guys wanna know? Box. Oh, hundred. Well, um. Oh, another thing. I promise that every time I go live on every time I like do something online, it's gonna be entertainment. I'm not gonna be here like going live to you guys, telling you like. Oh well, you know, I'm doing fine. I woke up this morning drinking coffee. Uh, no, I'm probably gonna like either be in a party or be with friends or telling you guys stories. I mean, if I can provide any kind of entertainment, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm trying to open this, guys. One second, <laughs> one second. Alright. Ooh, it's open. Oh my gosh. Of course, the first thing I see is my little like cup thingy. Aww. Well, this cup was with me all the time in the show. And, um, hold on. And, um, he had a sticker that said Tyler. Mainly because I could never find a um, sticker with my name, so I had to put Tyler in it so I could like differentiate it from the other ones. And um, yeah, this this cup has so much story, guys. You have no idea. Like it's so weird for me to see it right now. Oh <laughs> God, this is so cool. Yeah. No, because uh, Tyler in his cup was different color, and the name that he had printed on his cup was different from mine. I mean, I might think Tyler, but like with like handwriting. His was like printed. That's why we always knew which cup was each one. 
All right, this cup, this is from the competition that um that as Cardi got his grease thingy. Actually, this one, this is so crazy because when the competition finished, I grabbed one of these cups and I wanted to take it inside the house. And they were like, JC, stop that. And I'm like, okay, well, whatever. And now they gave it to me. So I guess this is all strategical. They were like, oh, he wanted the cup. We're going to give it to him at the end of the season. That's so funny. This is the Mamma Mia competition. Well, Winston went home. Mm -mm. Sorry, Winston. All right, let's see what else. Sorry, someone fucking decided to call me right now when I'm doing something. Uh, this. Guys, this reminds me so much of the house. You have no idea. Like, it's been only like eight days, nine days. But I look at this and it's just like in, I'm in one of those rooms. Like, in the freaking like pink room. That's so crazy. This one is the one that I used. I don't remember which eviction, which, uh, which eviction was. But I'm telling you right now because I'm such a floater that I never knew who was gonna go home that Thursday. I always knew who was gonna go home. And then <laughs> I grabbed this one. I don't remember which eviction was. And I wanted to laugh so hard that I, I used this to put it on my face. It has to be on an episode. I haven't seen it. I haven't seen it, but this is the one I used to cover my face because I wanted to laugh so hard because Thursdays were always a lot of fun, most of the time. By the way, my cheeks still hurt because of all the laughing, because I, I mean, all the biting, because I didn't want to laugh. Because if they see me laughing uh, on eviction night, that would mean, uh, JC, what the fuck is going next, he's gone next week. And so... They gave me this. It says Big Brother 20 Show Masters DVDs. Honestly, I have no idea what this is. It's Show Master DVDs. I have no idea. Literally. So it's like the table, the background of the shows or something? I have no idea what this is, guys. It says Show master DVDs and it has numbers. No idea. I have to check it out. Oh, it's every episode. Oh, they give me every episode. I had the CBS access thing anyway. Thank you. All right, we're gonna keep going through it. I promise I'm gonna like talk about every single thing I get in here. Winston and Bailey, I didn't even call, oh my, oh my gosh, so, Otev is one of my favorite competitions, and I really, really wanted to compete on that one, and I was so mad when I didn't get to compete, I was so mad, of course, Tyler got to compete on fucking Otev, and he fucking won too, in a fucking dramatic way, all the odds were for him, I fucking love him, this was gonna be his summer, and... All the fame and all that stuff he's getting from this show, I'm actually very, very happy for him. It was meant to be. Since day one, he was being picked to, for the oh, for the videos. He was playing a, a good game. He was winning all the um, videos. It was it, this was meant to be the summer of his life, and I'm happy for him. And this is reminding me of him. I'm Winston. Whatever. Oh my gosh, <laughs> he started with this. So this, this is the hacker, the hacker sweatshirt. It kind of looks like this one that I had. I had this, um, this sweatshirt on when I, when it was the surprise eviction, when I was on the block with Sam, when um, when Sam was sent home, and this was the one that I won my hair shirt with, and I broke the beautiful trio that was gonna make a top three, blah, blah, blah. Well, when I broke all that shit, I was wearing this. You're welcome. Um. I don't know what this is. These are the shorts from the Bing Bomb Spam competition shit that 
fucking kill my balls because they were like well you guys already saw that is gift out there like the things like they set up that in in, in a way on a on a way because i'm very sure for me to fit in that right and then like the way they set it up it was literally hitting my balls i was actually in real pain i mean like it was really hitting me like how to explain uh some of you are girls so you don't understand what it is having balls but when you have balls and something hit you in your balls that's very painful so these are the shirts i was wearing <laughs> fuck that these are the shirts from the first, the pants from the first competition, the balls thingy, the something balls. Everything is with balls here in this show, fucking show. This is a shirt from uh, the Big Brother. Um, oh my god, look at the quality of this shirt. Uh, this is the um, the fucking guys. You can help me when I, when you feel like I, I don't come up with something. You can help me with this. Um, the shirt from the the one with the helicopter, the comics, fucking comics shirt. Whatever. So this is a folder. Oh, it has a picture in there. Okay, they secure this folder like it has some kind of like national secret, like service secret in this. Ah, oh, this is cute. It's a picture with all of us, signed by all of us. I'm definitely giving this. This is so cute. I remember, I remember signing this when I just got out of the house and also anxious. I'm like, don't give me shit to sign. I don't want to sign shit. I just got third place in this fucking whatever. Oh my gosh. So. This is a shirt. I was winning my favorite competition. Also the competition that thanks to this one, I lost the whole game. But I'm not gonna lie, I'm not telling you that I didn't enjoy that comp. The m fucking mountain, mountain is a victor's shirt. This is the shirt I was wearing. Um, this is the competition that cost me my whole game. I would have won that one, then probably moved to final shirt. And then like, from there I moved forward. Whatever, YOLO, I'm over it. Um, this shirt is from the emoji competition. You see the quality of the shirts? You see like the fucking stickers already coming out. These are my chancletas from my HOH. I never even wore them. Just to walk around the house with it. They're comfy though. Chancletas. Um, this is the, <laughs> um, guys, think about this. In almost every competition, I will get hit on my balls, no matter what. I don't know if this was production strategy to make the show funny, but like, do you guys remember this one? It was the planet Vitonium shit, the planet Vitonium thing. And I was waiting, my strategy was just wait for the, the monster to throw the ball really close at me and I go way too close and they they aim the, bo the ball to my balls, to my real balls. After that, I couldn't even compete because I was in so much pain. Literally, like, I was coughing. That's how hard that ball hit my real balls. I was coughing the whole competition. And then I was in the water trying to jump and grab that stuff and my real balls were hurting and it was a mess. Well, thank you so much, my brother, for sending me the shirt that reminded me of all that pain. Uh, this is a hat from Pop. Thank you, Pop. This is um, Orwella and the thingy. Um, I've never seen this hat before, but thank you. This is the <laughs> this is the dress, because for me it's a dress. It's literally a dress. It's, this is what I go. all Miami ladies wear when they go to sleep that I wear in the in the labyrinth with the witches and all that stuff. It's really big, guys. It's literally a dress for me. Like, if I put this and a wig, I'm doing drag. This is a shirt from... Oh, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a shirt from Pop. 
look at the size of this shirt. This was my problem in the show. They would keep like they have my measures and they knew like exactly how I look and like my stuff. And look at the look at the size of this shirt. I guess I give this to give to a friend or something. Because there is no way. No way I can wear this. But thank you so much, Pop. I'm so thankful. Thank you. Thank you for the shirt. Oh, it's my ship. It's one of the ships from like the balls competition. Then we have an envelope. It's definitely no money, I'm telling you that. Oh, oh, this is nice. It's big, but it's nice. It says JC on the back, and then it has like a picture of all of us. I like this. I wish I could wear it. Maybe if I can get it adjust. Look at look at the size of this. I mean, I really like this shirt. It's literally on my knees. I'm gonna go to the gym with this. Take another envelope. See what it is. Oh, it's my key. Orange. I, th th I think that was the color of this season. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I knew it was the color of the season. It's my key. It's nice. Oh, yeah, I mean, how's the thingy? Welcome to Big Brother, JC. This is the thing that Rachel and other people were using to like mark the um, water bottles around the house. It was this thingy around the bottle thingy. Well, I like this. It's probably my favorite thing. Oh my god. Guess what I'm about to take out of the box right now. <laughs> oh, shit. This is gonna be good, guys. Oh my god, <laughs> I don't even know how to take it out. Ugh. The fuck? They secure all this stuff more than what, more than what, more than what they secure us in the house. <laughs> it's definitely bigger than me. Where should I put this on? Probably in my room. Look at that split. When I walked into the house, I was able to do a split. After I walked out of there, I walked out of there with no abs, a big belly, my face all like crazy. Uh, definitely not split. This is a Jay Z one month before Big Brother. Then the Big Brother fucked me up. Um, I think that's it. I can't believe they gave me the little thingy to sleep. Mm -hmm. That's it. Well, I thought I was gonna be longer. But that's it. I'm very thankful I got all this stuff. Um, thank you so much, Big Brother. Um, thank you so much, guys, for watching. And um, I just want to say that uh, um, that it was my pleasure to entertain this summer. I know there was, like, shit around, going bad and stuff. But you guys have to understand that all those people that work for networks, for other networks and, like, other news, they have to eat, too. So they have to actually like feed themselves with whatever they wanna, they can grab out there. And what they could grab, it was just me, like in the house, just being myself and doing stupid shit and stuff that you guys know that it wasn't serious. So yeah, that's what I made in fucking TMZ. <laughs> I mean, remember the people from TMZ need to eat. They need like something so people can go there to drink. So that's how I, literally how I'm seeing it right now. 
But uh, for all of those who like actually have had a laugh for, uh, with me and like watch the feeds and saw me going crazy there and doing stupid shit, if I made your day or your night or your hour, then I'm happy. For all of those out there who um who you know whoever think oh no I can't do this because this or I can't do this because I'm short or I can't do this because I'm too tall or I can't do this because I'm gay. Fuck that. You guys like. You can do whatever the fuck you want with your life. Uh, just go there and do it. Don't be afraid of it. Like, look at me. I got out of there with the, all the negativity in the world, and I'm still here opening this, hanging out with friends, being happy. Mm, I don't really care. So, yeah, I just wanted to say that, and thank you so much for watching me opening the, the box. And um, I want to say so many stuff that I have in mind and what I have in plans right now, but I need to first all, first, like, um, I need to, like, um, see what the fuck I'm doing with my life first. Um, I'm definitely not gonna go back to work. I used to work for, like, this dancing company where we would go around the world and do crazy stuff, like, four months away. Just check my Instagram, you will see there. And, uh, but that would take a lot of my time and then I would get skinny and it, it was just crazy. I don't want to do that anymore. So I, I think I'm kind of entertaining. So I might do something with entertainment and I'm here in LA. So yeah, no more dancing and crazy shit for me. Worst case scenario is that no one likes me at all. And then like, <laughs> no one like pick me up for anything. And then I have my degree. So I can just like go back to use my degree. You know, it has to do with business and like politics and shit. So I could do that too. No, it's not the end of the world. Just wanted to say that. And um, thank you so much for asking me how I'm doing. And um, uh, follow me on Twitter. Whatever you want to find me is J Simon Duix. Just like this. You're never going to see a number, nothing. I'm on Snapchat too. Just letting you guys know. And um, I went to college at FIU in Miami. Um, any other questions before I before I finish this. Um, anyways, yeah, well, I'm trying to read, this. There's a lot of questions, guys, and you're probably getting them like faster than me. We're here in LA, is 4.30, so yeah. Oh, if you guys wanna see me in your city, this is important, if you guys wanna see me in your city, just contact like, um, like a club manager or something. Hey, can you bring JC from Big Brother or whatever? And the name of my manager, I'm with CG Talent. Um, my, man my manager name is Daniel and it's on my profile, like his email. So have, have whoever you guys wanna like get me in contact with or whatever, contact Daniel and then we'll planify the schedule. I have a lot of like people right now who want me in their places and their clubs or whatever. So we're trying to pick like a specific place but if you guys like call me for one place or something, like just that's the connection right there. So just hit me up. I'm, I mean, hit him up, not me. And he will work something out. Because it's only one JC and I can only be like at one place one at a, once at a time. So no matter where you are, USA, Canada, um, so we'll do it. Yeah, for sure. But the name, my, the name of my agency, uh, CG, I think. And the name of my manager, Daniel, his email is on my profile right there. So you guys put, put that person in contact with my manager and I'll see them there. I'm a little bit like booked right now. So hopefully like we'll go and make a weekend. So thank you so much. Thank you so much for your attention. Thank you so much for letting me see all this stuff. And um, thank you, big brother. Thank you to everything. And um, right now I have to go. Because I don't know what I'm going to do. Probably go to Starbucks. Mm, all right. Yatus, Turtle, Jinjan, for all of those telling me to say it. <laughs> Bye.